cultured meat, which is also called, and I think should be called, clean meat, because that's what it is. It's uh, meat produced in a culture, but it is not plagued by antibiotic residues. It doesn't have any salmonella or campylobacter or other you know, potentially lethal bacteria. And clean meat is grown in a culture without the use of animal slaughter. So right now we grow meat by feeding animals in a vastly inefficient relationship where you put nine calories into a chicken or 25 calories into a cow the vast majority of those calories the animal expends simply existing. Some of it goes into bone or blood or other things that people don't eat. And a very small fraction of it is actually turned into animal flesh. With clean meat, you take animal cells, they're actual animal cells, and you feed them a, basically you feed them sugars, and it takes three calories in to get one calorie out in the form of meat. And that meat is obviously at least you know, it's three times more efficient than chicken, which is the most efficient animal-based meat. And it's cleaner, it's healthier, it's more sustainable, and it's better all around. So once we are producing cultured meat, clean meat, and it's less expensive than animal-based meat, um, I am absolutely convinced that people will choose it. The animal-based meat right, that uh, people are eating right now they eat it despite how it's, how it's made, not because of how it's made. Generally, meat eaters you know, prefer not to even think about what's happening on modern farms or in modern slaughterhouses. And the meat industry itself is passing laws to make it illegal to find out and tell people what's happening on these farms and slaughterhouses. With clean meat, it will be produced in the equivalent of a meat brewery. It will be produced in you know, that's basically what fermenters are. Fermenters are the same sort of thing that will allow the culturing process to take place and the meat will grow in there. So you'll you know, literally be able to go to your you know, friendly neighborhood meat brewery. And when people have the option of choosing something that is completely transparent, clean meat, and something that is so obfuscated that they're passing laws to make it illegal to find out about it, and the one product is cheaper, more sustainable, cleaner, safer, and the other product is the opposite of all those things. Um, I think that's the, the death knell of raising animals in order to slaughter them, which is obviously you know, nothing could be better for farm animals.